Hey guys, it's Bofa here with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Trophy Guide video and today I will be showing you how to get the Keeping This One Trophy. This trophy is found on the 10th mission of the campaign called Violence and Timing. So we're going to jump over onto this car and hijack it. This is going to be the car that we need to reach the final part of this mission in to get the trophy. Now another key objective of this is to not take damage. That means we're going to have to take out the enemies in the back of trucks as such who are going to be shooting at us. We're also going to want to try and avoid as many explosions as they will do a lot of damage. And later in the mission we're going to be dealing with C4s as such so you really want to try and not take as much damage in the early part as you can. There's a few key points of this mission that are quite difficult where we have to deal with a guy using an LMG where we want to take him out quite quickly. There's also a blockade and a mine area. I'll jump back in and let you guys know how to deal with these situations when they pop up. Here we see we are dealing with the armored enemy using an LMG on the back of this truck. You want to get as close as possible to the car and then try and hit him in the head to take him out. Back in the convoy north. Got a copy. Stay on them. We're heading your way. Guys, Nick. So next up is the blockade part and to get past this one you really want to just aim at the middle truck as it has explosives on the back you'll see them in the red so you want to aim at that and that will do a lot of damage to most of the guys there and clear a bit of a path for you. If you want you can methodically take out all the guys shooting as you see I've decided to ride through the gaps here and I've taken a little bit of damage but it wasn't as much as it could have been. Because I took quite a bit of damage, it sort of just means that I can't be hit by a single trip mine at the last bit here, as one trip mine will essentially blow my car up. So you want to realistically not do what I did and still have a little bit more health on your car. So here we're heading up to the trip mine area where there is a car at the very front who is dropping down trip mines and there's a few things you need to watch out for, one being the trip mines and also other cars that are coming from the opposite direction that are hitting trip mines. As we see here there's a car right there, if we run into that it would do quite a bit of damage.
Something that I found is that sticking to the outsides of the road are so much more helpful as most of the mines are getting dropped off in the center. In particular, the far left side is also quite useful. And during this mine chase, we are gonna have to take out a few enemies on the back of cars. And there we see I pretty much ran over a trip mine, but it didn't do any damage. So I'm gonna consider myself quite lucky there. Here we see we're approaching the car that has the guys dropping the trip mines. So now you just wanna aim and take them out as quickly as possible. There we go, once those guys are taken out, it's pretty much home clear. So you just wanna follow the road until you get the prompt from Price that he is coming up on our left. Here we go, we're at the final checkpoint and Price said that he's coming up about to pass us here. So that's him there. So now we just wanna pretty much drive up besides him and jump onto his vehicle. And in doing so, we should get the trophy. There we go, there is the trophy keeping this one. 